Roswell Flight Test Crew here. We crash so you don't have to. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Splash Drone. They've got a Kickstarter campaign going on right now to fund their project, and while it's not the first waterproof quadcopter we've seen, it does have some cool new features, so check it out. Subscribe now before you forget or change your mind. All right, now what I want to know is, that guy just tosses this thing in the water and casually takes off, right? But wouldn't it suck if it landed upside down? Upside down. down. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Okay, so what we're looking at here is the, their actual Kickstarter promo reel. So this is what they want us to know about the product. Uh, it's got, they claim, 17 minutes of flight time. And a waterproof camera cable. That would be actually a neat thing. It's got an external power switch. I, I guess that's good. Well, you want to be able to seal it up before you turn it on. Oh, good point. And then follow me mode. And 20 mile an hour wind resistance. All right, so here we are underwater. This is the test of their waterproof gimbal. There's the money shot right there. They pulled out of the water from the pool and are ascending right now over the building. And that's just, there you go. That, this sells this drone right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I imagine that's kind of going to be the signature shot. You know, six months after this thing gets sold, you're going to be seeing these all over YouTube. Well, <laughs> exactly. You're, you can no longer be afraid of the rain and the water with your brushless gimbal. Yeah. Now, what what is just watching this video telling you about the gimbal? Well, it it, it looks brushless to me. Maybe I'm, you know, it might be servo drapes, but it looks pretty smooth, actually. And uh, the limbs are, of course, in view. They're not stabilizing this in post, so... Yeah, I was going to say, that's, um, I, they, they really kind of did us a favor as reviewers who can't get our hands on this aircraft ourselves by letting us see the limbs, because by seeing them, we can judge what the gimbal's actually doing. And like you say, it looks like it's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, they're not giving it too aggressive of moves, but it's, yeah. still, it's keeping up nicely, though. Yeah. Splash. Splash. <laughs> now they have a flare, like a, like a road flare on top of this thing. I could see that being very handy if you're at sea. Get over the horizon, that'd be kind of cool. I can also say definitively it's a they, gross violation of the AMA safety code. Well, you know, if you're stuck at sea, you do what you gotta do, I suppose. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you're not, I'm not gonna complain if you're stuck at sea. Just don't fly over the dry lawn with a road flare hanging off the top of your copter, please. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say they're fish. splashing around on the beach an awful lot with this thing. And uh, this is clearly an ocean as we pull back on this guy. And uh, unless I'm wrong, uh, those motors don't really like salt water, do they? They, they do not like salt water. Uh, yeah, the bearings will wear out. The, then again, maybe they're just gonna say, you know what, replace your motors every so many flights or years or wash it off with, with normal water. Just, just when you finish flying in the ocean, uh, take a bottle of Aquafina and just drain it on top of the motor. Perhaps. So for a freshwater bath. Freshwater it, bath, exactly. Clear most of the yeah, yep. well, it's, it's very intriguing. And another thing is they say that you can control it either with a cell phone, which is cool, yeah, yeah. or with a, um, with a conventional radio controller that comes with it. Well, I, I, you know, personally, I'm in the radio controllers. I, right. do, I do not like cell phone controlled things. But then again, if you have a waterproof cell phone case and you and you're on your surfboard, you could control this thing with your waterproof cell phone. And there you go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can see that really working well for the following mode, but clearly I'm with you in wanting a conventional RC type controller. And it looks like it's got telemetry integrated with that. So yeah. you're getting... Exactly. I don't see her carrying a cell phone though. I don't see her flying the drone either. Well, that's true. But we can just sit here and watch her paddle around for a few minutes. Okay, and so this is their actual Kickstarter page here. All right, so if you scroll down the page here, here's the what you get if you pledge at different levels. Twenty at five bucks, you get a thank you, a, a hearty thank you, a hearty hard, no doubt, very hearty. Two exclamation points, thank you. A thank you with two exclamation points. That's don't don't sneeze at that. Twenty five bucks, you get a drone pilot T-shirt. T-shirt, that's good. With a splash drone logo on the front, it looks like, and drone pilot across the back. So two ninety five is an accessory pack, but no drone yet. Right. <laughs> So you, you get accessories for the drone you don't well, you, own. You get a screen, a 5.8 receiver screen, two batteries, and four props. Probably. Maybe uh, you already have some other drone. Maybe like an Iris, perhaps? You could use this on like, I, like Iris stuff. Well, maybe. Anyway. All right. Uh, 389, you're getting yourself the DIY kit. Probably just assemble it yourself. Yeah, it looks like everything just, uh, they're not making it for you. No, no, so you could order you that, could order and never successfully, I couldn't, because I couldn't DIY it I myself. See. That wouldn't work. I'd need you. And then at $7.99, you get the ready-to-fly early bird. Yes. But that's 
there are only 230 of those units available. And the next one for $9.99 is the same thing but with the camera gimbal, which the previous one does not have, the fixed GoPro. So a thousand bucks includes the camera gimbal. So at $12.99, you get the follow me mode and autonomous functions added to everything you got in the previous package. Yep, and $14.99, the ultimate package. It looks you get, you just keep stacking on things here. So you get the accessory pack with the screen, uh, it looks like three batteries, the, the extra props, and yeah, that's pretty cool there. And $19.99, ooh, the ultimate package plus six hours of personal flight lessons. Well, we'd like to know what you think about this thing, so go ahead and leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time. All right, fly safe. Come play with us. Come play with us. Come play with us.